Okay, it's a really finely chopped onion on the frying pan. I'm gonna let it fry there for a while. Okay, so I fry the onion at a low temperature for maybe 15 minutes to get it slightly caramelized um, to get out this sweet, nice flavor from the onion. Also some black pepper, some cumin, a little bit of chili powder as well, not too much. Just adding uh, quite much full cream. Save a little bit for the mashed potatoes we're gonna do later. Lower the temperature, I'm gonna put it on a smaller uh, flame. And it's just gonna uh, be there for maybe 25, 30 minutes until the cream starts to get really thick. Then you will have a really nice cream onion sauce that will go perfect with the meat we'll do later. Okay, so here we have some uh, sun dried some dried tomatoes, I'm sorry, that I've cut it up and some a little bit more of this finely chopped onion. Just gonna make a close-up because I know you guys like these close-ups. Sun-dried tomatoes, onion. It's gonna go into the meat by the way, which you will see soon. Okay, so here we have it. 500 grams pork, 500 grams beef. We have the mix here with the onion and the sun-dried tomatoes. We're gonna mix it all around with some spices of course. Okay, so this is the mix, uh, the meat mix with some onion, spices and uh, sundry tomatoes. Now the funny part, I'm gonna try to stuff it with cheese, cheddar cheese and, and uh, parmesan and some of this uh, Tex-Mex salsa sauce. And then I'm gonna make a big, big sausage out of it and wrap it with bacon. Three packets of bacon. This is exciting. I've never done this before. I just had an idea the other day that this is what I want to do. So I have no idea if it's going to work or not. I just know it's going to be a lot of bacon in it. So for the filling, there's a Tex Mex sauce, the Parmesan, and the shredded cheddar. And now it's mixed around. It's quite exciting because it's almost as much cheese as meat. I don't know really how I'm gonna make it, but uh, I just have to stuff it well. Okay, this is how it looks so far. Okay, so I open it up like a boat and somehow I'm gonna stuff all of this cheese in this crack. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this is how it looks like so far. I think I have to forget the idea about uh, closing it down. It just has to be like this, a cheese boat. I'm just gonna wrap it with bacon and I don't think I'm gonna uh, try to uh, chase my original idea with wrapping it all around. I'm probably just gonna lay a thick layer of bacon on top of it. Cause right now it feels like very fragile and everything can go wrong. I just need to save this project, this bacon and cheese project. Okay, so this is one packet of bacon so far, and it's uh, going quite nice actually. Just squeezing under the bacon. So, I don't know what to call it. A ch cheese meat boat covered in bacon. <laughs> and I have uh, two packets left there, so it's gonna be like almost a half a kilo of bacon. I already finished the mashed potatoes before, really tasty, and the sauce as well, super tasty. I wish I had some Swedish lingonberry uh, jam to this one as well, but um, with all of that cheese and the Tex-Mex taco sauce, I don't think it's any lingonberries is needed for this. This is just a meat fest, meat, cheese and fat fest. Okay, so here it is. It's ready for the oven. It's gonna be in the oven 175 degrees Celsius for around 45 minutes. I really hope that it's enough to make the rest of the meat done, well done. And not that the bacon will 
be like an insulated cover around the meat but uh, it's exciting it's exciting I, I already feel the pressure in my chest of my heart is uh, not really wanting to eat this but uh, my taste buds once my taste buds wants to so here's the result it released a lot of fluid so you can see I'm just gonna try to open it and I hope it's ready it has been an hour actually because after 45 minutes the bacon didn't look uh, ready yet there's a result mashed potatoes the onion sauce the bacon wrapped meatloaf with just a lot of juicy cheese and Tex-Mex salsa and uh, whatever it just gonna be freaking awesome to eat this now